The following program is a special presentation brought to you by WXOW19. This is the most important year ever for Rotary Life. It's going to be a very special year again. A lot of people put a lot of work into it to make it something that, that we can all enjoy this year because I think we all need it. We're going to have a hell of a show. It's your life show. Uh, it does a lot of good for the community and uh, we think it's going to be a very special year. This is our, our 26th year uh, of Rotary Lights. We'll end up with uh, 90 plus volunteer groups this year, a little under 3,000 total volunteers. Uh, it's really a remarkable accomplishment for the entire community, the number of people that are involved uh, with this. We think we need Rotary Lights this year more than ever. Uh, we need some happy times, some good times, uh, some things for people to do. Uh, for families to enjoy together and, and so on. And uh, it works out well for Rotary Lights. I like some of the other festivals that had to be canceled on here is that about 70% of our visitation is done by vehicle. Uh, so people can drive through in the comfort of their own car and uh, not have to worry about uh, some of the virus or other things like that. I am sure we are all extremely happy to have Rotary Lights here as a safe and friendly event that can be held to bring those dollars to our area. And these events enhance the quality of life for our residents, as well as attracting visitors to our area. That is a recipe for success, and that is Rotary Lights. We should be able to flip it. I'm Bill Driscoll. This is Matt McGurry. We're from the Shamrock Club of Western Wisconsin. We're down here at the Rotary Lights building, building uh, walkways. I think they're going to go to Santa, but I've forgotten exactly where the walkway is going to go. But basically, there's a long walkway. It's going to get carpeted with AstroTurf on this side and put together in these uh, four by eight frames. It's a good feeling to do public service. And uh, we're just, we're probably not even a tenth of a percent of all the people that are working on rotary lights. There's the, the hardcore of volunteers that do this every year, every day. Mike Dively comes to mind. He's uh, probably done the electrical work for Rotary Light every year. And then our leader, Pat Stevens, is uh, incredible, the dedication he's bringing to things like this. I'm Pat Stevens. I have been uh, associated with Rotary Light since its very beginning, back in 1995. So this is our 26th year. Uh, to bring this special uh, activity to the La Crosse area. Uh, I serve as president. I guess you could say I've been the only president of Rotary Lights. Uh, uh, I'm convinced not because I do such a good job, it's because nobody else wants the duties that go with it. Today we're prepping again. Uh, we've got some people working in the park as well as in the building today getting uh, ready for the big weekend. Uh, this weekend and next weekend will be two huge weekends for us for, uh, for setup time and stuff. This is uh, going to be a very special year again. Uh, we've had to cut out a lot of things uh, because of the virus, uh, but uh, we still think we're going to have a hell of a show. This is really a year-round project and uh, uh, somebody said, when do you start uh, planning, when did you start planning for 2020? And I said, uh, January 1st of 2020, because <laughs> by the time we take everything out of the park, there's a lot of work to be done for, uh, for cleanup, uh, for repair, uh, for storage and so on. And that all goes on January, February, March and, and so on. So it really is a, uh, a year-round activity for a project of this size on here. We've got uh, volunteers of all ages, uh, really, from, uh, from young kids that come down with their, with their parents or organization to help out. 
Uh, a lot of university uh, people, a lot of the Turbo University people that come down. TC is involved with it as well. And then we get a lot of retirees too. And we're able to tap into a tremendous amount of local talent that makes this thing go. And uh, I've met some tremendous people that had I not been involved with Rotary Lights, I never would have had an opportunity to, to break bread with. And they are just really wonderful folks. These are two of our more shy but excellent volunteers at this point. This is T.A. Slayback and Butch Rogowski on here. They are a big part of Rotary Lights. They are uh, uh, both retired gentlemen that have really dedicated hundreds and hundreds of hours to the Rotary Lights project. Very grateful and uh, not only are their hours dedicated but they, uh, uh, they have certain skills that are uh, not everyone has. And uh, right now T.A. is working on the runners for the sleigh. Uh, they have to be uh, built in a certain way to go under the sleigh. Once that sleigh gets rudders under it and gets the brace underneath it, it's when we start putting the lights on the sleigh and it'll again be uh, a wow factor. Open the 27th, so we got 20 days yet to get everything done. Uh, we all know that this weather is not going to continue, so we're trying to get as much done as we can in the next few days. Uh, that helps us with our work crews and stuff when they can stay outside a lot longer over here. This is one of our five groups that are helping down at Rotary Lights today. These are the St. Pat's Knights of Columbus. They've been with us for a lot of years. Uh, their duties today uh, consist of uh, getting up the drive-through tunnel. Uh, getting up the igloo, getting up frosty as they're doing right now, and then they finish up by getting the layout, initial layout for the ice rink on there. So it's a busy group, been with us for years, love them to death. They're just good hard workers and know what they're doing. Knights of Columbus is all about volunteering. In the city or any business or any individual needs our help, we go do it. The group over here just finished the deer pin. This is the uh, cross dive team, does that for us each and every year. They're very good at it. I need, again, very little supervision because they've all done it before and stuff. So we'll get up there and our reindeer will be delivered to the park and fly into the park on November 23rd and uh, stay with us right up until Christmas time. So pretty nice, big attraction for the kids and adults, I might add. One other group across the street from uh, Western Technical College. Uh, that group today is uh, just putting up uh, lights on the distant bushes and low-lying things that we have done. Uh, They'll finish that up uh, this afternoon and get all the bushes covered for us and stuff as well. Today we're, we were really blessed with a beautiful day to set up the tree. Um, we have the local iron workers union and some volunteers, some of the apprentices and a uh, team from there along with some of the Rotary Lights volunteers. This is our second year working or putting up the bluff tree. So kind of a long-standing tradition that went away for a little while that we brought back last year. Um, so this one is a new and improved version. Uh, so also some similar technology to what we've had in the park. Uh, last year we had Merry Christmas streaming around. That's one of the really cool things with the LED technology is we can put you know words and different colored lights and patterns. I think honestly like last year for the first time after we put it up and I'm sure it's something similar today is I think one of the best moments is to just see everything lit up and especially after it gets a little bit closer to dusk you can see like the, the fruits of your labor after you know being able to put everything together. It's the same thing feeling to the when Santa you know turns the lights on in the park it's just amazing to see how much joy and all the smiles and things that you know come uh, along with that moment. This is an all new setup for us over here because we can't have uh, uh, lap visits with Santa this year. We're trying to come up with a creative way to keep uh, to keep the spirit of Santa and Christmas for the little kids. So we uh, we put a walkway together over here 
so the kids will be able to wait in line to see Santa. They'll go up to the, uh, to the window where Santa is. He'll have a microphone and speaker there so he can talk to the kids. And uh, when he's done with his visit, uh, we've got a candy cane shoot where you can give the kids a Santa button and give them the, uh, the candy cane that they get for visiting Santa. It's gonna be really nice, but I think one of the highlights of that this year is right in the middle of that walkway, uh, we are gonna put our first hologram. And uh, we think that'll be a great distraction for the kids and a great helper for the parents. And uh, uh, every time I show the hologram down in the building right now, uh, all of the volunteers are in awe of, uh, of what it looks like. So it's gonna be a great new, uh, new addition for us on there. You know All-Star Mobility for our compact, light, and stable scooters. We also have power bikes in stock and ready to take home. Stair lifts, various ramps, and more. Regain your independence. Call or visit us at our new Hudson location. Our lives progress in stages. Each stage brings with it new challenges and new rewards. Encountering life's milestones doesn't need to be done alone. At Ameriprise Financial, our comprehensive approach to financial planning can help make sure you're prepared for your milestones. Be brilliant through all stages of life. Call Hanson & Associates today. Seeing the joy that people feel when they share a meal with family and friends, that's why we do this. The laughter of kids around the table, the thrill of families driving through for a treat, the delight of not having to cook, and instead, letting us safely serve you. It all comes back to taking care of each other. And for that, we'll be here with your favorites and always a smile. So I can get the latest phones free with no hidden requirements? Yep, all season long. And do I have to get the most expensive plan? Nope. We have to trade in our phones. Right? Keep your phones. Switch to U.S. Cellular and get the latest phones free, available all season long with no hidden requirements. U.S. Cellular, upgrade to fair. And get up to $500 with Cell Plus device buyback at Cell Plus in Holman, La Crosse, Sparta, Black River Falls, and CellPlus.com. You know All-Star Mobility for our compact, light, and stable scooters. We also have chairlifts in stock and ready to take home. Stair lifts, various lifts, and more. Regain your independence. Call or visit us at our new Hudson location. So here we are, Riverside Park. Uh, we're 13 days out from our opening at this point. I would say if we had to put a percentage to it, that we're about 65% completed. Uh, with uh, 13 days to go, puts us in pretty good shape to be ready to go opening night on November 27th. We are in the home stretch, especially as we get into next weekend. Uh, we try to get everything done next weekend so all of our people can enjoy the holiday and so on, so we're on target. Today we have uh, one of the groups from Gunderson, uh, the ultrasound group from, uh, we have the Lacrosse JCs down here, we have the Alpha Phi sorority down here, uh, we have the Onalaska High School Honor Society uh, down here today. Uh, I think there's six groups, so it's a, that's a typical Saturday for us. Uh, the JCs traditionally put all the lights on the uh, on the drive-through tunnel. Uh, the ultrasound people are finishing wrapping the trunks of the of the trees uh, down there as well. And then we have uh, the Health Science Academy that's putting all the lights in the igloo today. So uh, everybody's got a chore, everybody's got a task, and uh, uh, the wind is pretty hard today. But for the most part, we're getting everything we need to do to get done. Well, everything kind of goes in a sequence when we set up down here. We've got to do A before we can do B, C, and so on like that. And so so we're on target to get that completed. And uh, uh, by tomorrow night, by the end of tomorrow night, uh, we should be able to have most of the park lit. And then we go back in the next few days and add all the little amenities to it and 
and do some cleanup and uh, finish the fencing uh, so we can protect the public from the cords and, and so on like that. So it's all a sequence. Uh, we're on target. If Mother Nature cooperates, we'll be ready to go on the 27th. Another beautiful day for setup by Wisconsin standards this late in November. This is a real treat to be able to have that. We're scrambling a little bit today because uh, the weather report for uh, tomorrow and maybe into Wednesday doesn't look so promising. So we want to get as many things off the ground and ready to go as possible. So we're all set to go on Friday night. I'm going to assign it about a 95% uh, complete right now. We got a few bit more things to plug in. We got to get our sleigh ready to bring down on uh, on Wednesday. Uh, our reindeer arrive on Friday morning, so we got all that to look forward to. So at about 95%, uh, most of the stuff we have left is just little things that only our crew knows what to do. Well, one of the things we do for quality control is go through the park to make sure everything we have plugged in is working. Uh, we'd rather take it back to the warehouse and uh, and reset it than have something that doesn't work in the park. So the quality of the display makes a big difference to us. So. That's a lot of the work. We have two great electricians that help us tremendously with everything that we do down here. I don't think they've been stumped yet. Hi everyone, my name is Mike Dively and I've been involved with Rotary Light since 2003 and myself along with a couple other guys uh, and all the electrical needs here in the park. Uh, it's it's a lot. There's a, there's a lot of electrical needs here. We have, um, if you see the panel behind me, there are 15 of these panels uh, around the park and then there are another 75 to 80 small pedestals that we plug everything into. That panel behind me, we, ha we built uh, 15 of these over the course of the last year, and they're brand new. Uh, we could thank so many of our electrical distributors in the area for donating so much of the material to do that. Uh, from that point, we just kind of uh, spider out to different points in the park and set different, different panels around so uh, everyone can plug their stuff in. There'll be someone stationed at virtually every one of those and uh, on cue or on at five o'clock every day those will be turned on and that'll light the park. There's, there's extension cords everywhere. Uh, my big thing is to make sure everyone plugs their stuff in properly and uh, plug it in so that things don't get overloaded. Well, there's a reason why I come back every year, you know, since 2003 and the reason is that it's, uh, it's very addicting. You know, the people are phenomenal. Uh, the, what Rotary Lights does for our community is beyond belief. Uh, if you were here every day and you were walking around with me, you would hear some of those stories. And uh, it's just heartwarming to live in this community. Well, I'm looking forward hopefully to a safe rotary lights this year that people can maneuver around safely and, uh, and, and just enjoy it for what it is. A lot of people put a lot of work into it to make it something that, that we can all enjoy this year because I think we all need it. Oh, feeling very good. We uh, we brought our hologram down to the park yesterday and uh, tested it out. Everything's working just fine with that. We, uh, as a first-time venture, we weren't quite sure how that was going to come off. But I think it's going to be a wow factor. Uh, uh, the hologram will be where the kids see Santa, and so they'll be able to be mesmerized by the uh, by the hologram while they're waiting to see him at that point. So we feel pretty good about it. Everything, to my knowledge, is working. Well, it's our 26th year, and. Uh, I think a lot of those people that have been involved for that long, or, or, or uh, 20 plus years anyway, all feel the same way. It, uh, it's a great feeling of accomplishment. We know the, the community is going to appreciate it. Uh, we know the food pantries are certainly going to appreciate it uh, with the volume of food that we'll be able to bring in over the next five weeks is important. And it's just great to know that you've accomplished something for the community and uh, you're going to get a lot of good out of it because of that. Five o'clock, uh, Santa is going to enter the park by sleigh on Friday night and uh, he'll make his way to the band shell, hit the magic switch and uh, we'll have a great fireworks show uh, from the Sky Rockers and as soon as the last bomb goes off uh, all the lights go on and everybody can enjoy the park. It's your light show, uh, it does a lot of good for the community and uh, we think it's going to be a very special year. 
You know All Star Mobility for our compact, light, and stable scooters. We also have power bikes in stock and ready to take home. Stair lifts, various ramps, and more. Regain your independence. Call or visit us at our new Hudson location. Our lives progress in stages. Each stage brings with it new challenges and new rewards. Encountering life's milestones doesn't need to be done alone. At Ameriprise Financial, our comprehensive approach to financial planning can help make sure you're prepared for your milestones. Be brilliant through all stages of life. Call Hanson and Associates today. get the latest phones free with no hidden requirements? Yep, all season long. And do I have to get the most expensive plan? Nope. We have to trade in our phones. Right? Keep your phones. Did you say free phones? Switch to U.S. Cellular and get the latest phones free, available all season long with no hidden requirements. U.S. Cellular, upgrade to fair. And get up to $500 with Cell Plus device buyback at Cell Plus in Holman, La Crosse, Sparta, Black River Falls, and CellPlus.com. You know All-Star Mobility for our compact, light, and stable scooters. We also have chairlifts in stock and ready to take home. Stair lifts, various lifts, and more. Regain your independence. Call or visit us at our new Hudson location. November 27th, uh, about an hour and a half away from our kickoff on here, where we open the gates for the 26th year of Rotary Lights. Couldn't be more excited. Uh, Mother Nature has truly cooperated. We don't always have nice uh, days like this in late November, uh, where it's 35 to 40 degrees. I think we're going to have a banner evening here, and uh, our whole crew is excited to show it off. Well, it's been uh, almost seven weeks uh, from start to finish on here when we started putting things in the park. Uh, we have a little over 100 uh, volunteer organizations that have helped with it this year, and that represents about 3,200 volunteers. Uh, we have no payroll. It's all volunteers that put this together, and it's amazing uh, the talent, the dedication, and the unselfishness that we have from all these folks. We are ready to hit that switch. Uh, we really don't have many problems when, uh, when we hit the switch. It goes pretty well, but everybody's excited. I got a whole crew down here tonight, that, and they come down and enjoy it with their families and it's nice for them to see the fruits of their own benefits at that point. Very special.
a lot of lace, so and they're really pretty. <laughs> They got millions of lights, so lots of animated displays, uh, some beautiful computerized displays and so on. Our first ever hologram that people are kind of wow about uh, when they watch that and so on. And our Schmore Pit has never been more popular. It's, it's really nice seeing everybody happy for once this year, you know? Oh, it's definitely a magical place. So we lost uh, a couple of our uh, our main food drives outside the park this year. If we're going to hit our target, we got to do it in the park itself. So we're asking people to be extra generous. I don't think the need has ever been greater than it is this year. <laughs> people's spirits and kind of just boost some holiday cheer and just people's morales in general because you're by people you're out you're still safe and you still, everyone's still masked up and everyone's so far apart but you just still get a kind of experience being with people again which is really good but it means an awful lot for the families to get together people hate to be uh, uh, alone uh, too very often so uh, having them come down here and enjoying family friends and neighbors that's what it's all about. It's it's, it's normalcy. Um, it's something that happens every year, so it just kind of reminds you that there's hope at the end of the tunnel, and hopefully everyone gets out and has a good time with it. Honestly, my favorite part is being here with the family. That's This is my biggest thing is get out, have a good time. It just brightens your spirit, brightens your mood. Um, it gets you ready for Christmas, and it starts off the holidays. And it just brings that, that much more light to your, your life, you know? It's, it's just, it's a good time of year. 26 years now, this has been part of the thing, and it brings people together, and um, yeah, it just it shows that, we, you know, we can still do stuff. Just enjoy being together, and enjoy the time. Yeah. Just enjoy the time being around with each other. I just think it's been a really long year, and just being able to see the Christmas lights and enjoy the season, and uh, family is just something that's gonna be able to pick everybody up and kind of lighten things for the holiday season. I'm so proud of the people that put this together. I'm telling you, when a night like this comes together, it makes it all worthwhile, and very appreciative of all the community that comes together to help out. That indeed is what Rotary Lights is all about. Thank <laughs> you.